Hello, this is Kate. I'm Wooly Faye. Welcome to my channel. This is the eighth tutorial in the Learn to Crochet series. And in this tutorial, we're going to be learning a little bit about lace stitches, okay? These are gonna be some very basic techniques, nothing fancy. And the important thing that you need to know about lace stitches is that it always looks a little nicer in a smaller weight yarn. Now, normally, I would suggest a fingering weight or a lace weight yarn, but in this example here, I have actually used a DK weight cotton yarn because cotton is stiffer, so it's more defined, and I have sized down to a smaller hook to make those stitches very tight, and that has caused it to be more defined. So I got away with a DK weight yarn. This is a paint box DK 100% cotton yarn. And I got away with that by sizing down to a smaller hook. Of course, you can use lace, you know, do lace stitches in any weight yarn, but you're just not gonna get as nice a result unless you have a smaller weight. And the stiffer the yarn, the better. So cotton is excellent for lace stitches, but you can also do it in wool and acrylic. Just be sure that you're keeping that tension, you know, to a point where those stitches can be defined and that you're also using a light weight. So that's my advice on that. Someone else may differ, but that's my opinion on that. I do want to point out to you that crochet thread is often used for lace stitches and certain things, especially like with doilies, but it can also be used in shawls and things like that. And crochet thread is sized differently than yarn. So I want to kind of cover that real fast so that you have a little bit of knowledge there. And the difference is as the lighter the weight on the yarn, the number of that weight goes down. So for example, a worsted weight yarn will be sized as a four. A DK weight yarn will be sized as a three. Fingering weight will be sized as a two and so on. You get down to lace weight, sport weights. The sizes of those reduce with the weight of the yarn. However, with crochet thread, which is stiffer, and like I said, used in projects to like shawls and doilies and things that where the lace needs to be very defined. It's a little stiffer. It makes really nice definition, but the sizing on it goes up and with the lighter weight. So this is a three. It's heavier than a 10. It's 10 is heavier than a uh, I think it's 20 or 25. I'd have to look again. <laughs> um, but anyway, the higher the number on crochet thread, the lighter the weight of the thread, okay? On yarn, the higher the number, the heavier the, the weight of the yarn. So hopefully I did not confuse you there. Now we're not gonna be using Skypie's fingering weight yarn today for this but I don't want you to avoid working with this is all, if all you have is worsted weight or DK weight, um, go ahead and use that because you can still get your practice in, you can still learn how to do it, and when you're ready to do a project of your own, you'll just have this knowledge under your belt and you'll know that for the results you want, you're actually gonna fare better with certain types of yarn. And so don't let it stop you if, that, if you don't have that from follow, going ahead and following this tutorial today. So the first thing that I want you to do is to chain 46. And then when you have finished your foundation chain, you will want to put one single crochet into the back bump of each chain, starting with the second chain from your hook. So you will end up with a foundation row of 45 stitches. So go ahead and do that, pause your video, and then hit play again when you're ready to resume. Okay, so if you have completed your foundation row of 25 stitches, what you wanna do is turn the work around. Turn that work, so the back side is facing you, okay? And then you're going to chain two. That will count as your first stitch, so you won't work into that first stitch again, you'll move to the second stitch from your hook. 
you're going to put a double crochet stitch into the second stitch from your hook so I'll do the second stitch on the row now you're going to be skipping this stitch so you're going to need to compensate with a chain one so you're going to chain one skip the stitch and move to the one after chain one skip this stitch move to the one after so you're going to put a double crochet into that And again, you're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and put a double crochet into the one after. Then chain one again, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the one after. Chain one, Skip the next stitch, double crochet into the one after. You're going to continue to do this for the whole row. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the one after. Continue to do that all the way to the end of the row. When you get to the end, wait on me for the final stitch. So this is what it should look like. Okay, so I am at the end of the row. I have one lace stitch remaining. That means I skip the next stitch and go ahead and put that double crochet in there just like we've been doing. Okay, now on my final stitch, I do a double crochet. That means that we have two double crochet stitches to start and two double crochet stitches to end that row, okay? So now we're gonna turn our work over and we're gonna do this again. You just have a couple rows of this, and then we'll move on to the other lace stitches that I was going to show you. So we're going to chain two to start, just like we did before. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to put a double crochet stitch into the second stitch on the hook because the chain two counted as our first stitch. Okay, so one, two. Then we're going to chain one. That we're going to skip over this chain space. The chain space is where our chain one st stitch was before. We have that space there now. We're going to move directly to the double crochet bar that we formed on the previous row. We're going to double crochet under both of those loops on that stitch. And then we're going to chain one again. Skip over the chain space, go directly to the double crochet bar from the previous row, and go under both loops on that stitch, and another double crochet. So this is exactly what we did before, and they're lining up. You see the previous row bar and the new rows bar line up perfectly. So again, chain one, skip the space, double crochet under both loops of the stitch of the previous row on the bar okay so you're going to just continue to do that one more row and again two double crochet at the end so you'll finish your final one and there'll be one final double crochet uh, after the last lace stitch so go ahead and do that and i'll see you at the end of the row and we'll go from there so i've completed my final lace stitch on this row and it's important to kind of note that this last double crochet bar here was actually your chain two. Remember when we started the first row of lace stitches, we chained two. That counted as our first stitch and then we double crocheted in the one after. So you're looking at what is a, a stitch, a, considered a double crochet stitch, but it's actually a chain two. And so when you double crochet into that, you wanna to go to the top um, chain and then work in there and go ahead and complete a double crochet stitch like that on the edge into the top chain of that chain two. Okay, then you're gonna turn your work and we're going to put single crochet stitches all the way across. So because it's a single crochet stitch and not a double, we're only going to chain one to start our row. Now we're going to chain, we're gonna put a single crochet, I'm sorry, into the second stitch from our hook because this is our first the chain one was our first stitch we're going to the next stitch the second stitch on the row and completing a single crochet so that is two stitches it's just one of them was a chain one 
Now into the chain space right here, we're going to put a single crochet stitch. Then we're going to go to the bar, the double crochet bar right here, and we're going to put a single crochet stitch. Go back into the chain space right here and do a single crochet stitch. Go into over the bar under both loops and do a single crochet stitch. And you're going to single crochet space bar all the way down. Space. And I want you to complete that all the way down. Just pause your video, hit play when you're ready to resume, and we'll go from there. Okay, I have completed my row except for the final two stitches. And just to show you, we have this last bar for our final lace stitch, and then we have this chain two stitch on the edge. So we're going to put a single crochet into both of those. Remember the top chain the final stitch we're going to turn it over we're going to chain one we're going to move to the second stitch on the row second from our hook and we're going to single crochet into that so we're maintaining the two stitches on the edge as we've done all along and now we're going to chain five one two, three, four, five. Then we're going to count over five stitches. And I'm looking here at these where we'll insert our hook right into these. So I count one, two, three, four, five. Insert my hook into that fifth stitch. All right. And then I'm going to slip stitch it. And I'm going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, Five. I'm going to count over five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Insert my hook into that fifth stitch and slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Count over five. One, two, three, four, five. Insert the hook and slip stitch. So go ahead and do that. I've got a little bit of a snag here. I pause your video and I will see you when you hit play. Okay, you should have um, chain five and then a slip stitch into every fifth stitch all the way down. And when you get to the end, you want to single crochet the last two stitches on your row as we have done throughout. There we go, that one gets a little stiff. You're gonna turn your work around and now we're gonna do it again. All right, we're going to chain one we're going to skip that first edge stitch. We're going to go to the second stitch on the row. We're going to do a single crochet stitch. And then we're going to chain five. Two, three, four, five. And we're going to slip stitch into that chain space right there. The first chain five space right there. We're going to pull a loop through the center of the chain space and slip stitch it. Okay. Now you're going to chain five again. Be sure that's not loose and sloppy. Two, three, four, whoop, I slipped out. Let me, five. And then you want to go into that chain space, pull the loop through and slip stitch. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Go to the next chain five space, pull that loop through, and slip stitch it. So you want to go at, all the way down again and then when you do this final loop, all right, just wait on me. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I have come to the end of this row. I have done a slip stitch into the last chain five space. I'm going to chain five again. And then I am going to single crochet the last two stitches on the row. So 
still maintaining that two stitches on both ends. Now I'm going to turn the work over and we're going to end it with a little bit of a flare. Okay, so we're going to chain one for the first stitch. We're going to insert into the second and do a single crochet. And then we're going to slip stitch into the first chain five space. Okay, so we didn't chain five again like we did the last two rows. We just went directly from our first two single crochet stitches. Pull it out and show you again. There's the second single crochet stitch. We just go directly into that chain five space, pull up a loop and slip stitch. Now in the next chain five st space, we're gonna do nine double crochet stitches. So we're going to wrap, insert the hook into the space, pull up a loop and complete a double crochet stitch. We're going to do that nine times. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. After we've completed nine double crochet stitches, we are now going to move to the next chain space and do a slip stitch. So it's almost like we're doing our nine double crochet stitches here, and then we're anchoring it down into the next chain space. So we do a slip stitch there, and then we chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We move to the next chain five space, and we do a slip stitch. Then we're going to go into the next chain five space and do another nine double crochet. We wrap, insert the hook into the chain space, pull up the loop. We have three loops on the hook. We complete a double crochet stitch and we do that nine times. So this is two. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to move to the next chain five space and we're going to complete a slip stitch. Chain five, Go to the next chain five space and another slip stitch. Now we're going to go directly into the next chain five space and do nine double crochet. That's one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now for the final one, we go directly into that and do a slip stitch into the last chain five space. We do the slip stitch and then we just single crochet the last two stitches. So this completes the lace stitch tutorial on this. I'm going to show you how to fasten it off. If you want to fasten off any project, just chain two. Take your clippers, snip that, pull the hook upward, and then just 
push down on the chain stitches and pull up on the tail. Okay. So that is what that looks like. We can just kind of spread it out there for you. Okay. Get a good look at it. And hopefully yours looks similar to that. Again, don't feel bad about using any weight you want to practice it, but you're probably going to want a smaller weight yarn for a lacy project. So there you go. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial. We'll see you the next time.